I was picked out of uh, the freshman uh, class to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, to go to West Point. I mean, uh, as as a soldier in in in, in the army, uh, uh, you know, I, I they picked me out to go to uh, as a candidate to go to West Point. I didn't want to go in the army at uh, uh, West Point again. I mean, I'd had enough of the uh, military stuff for my life. And uh, so I went before a board of like a general and through colonels to, uh, uh, to be uh, interviewed to go to West Point. I'm a soldier at Fort uh, Edwards in uh, Long Island, uh, uh, Cape Cod. So I arrived at the, uh, the place on uh, an island off Cape Cod to be interviewed by this general and three colonels to go to West Point. I'm standing outside the door and I'm saying to myself, what are you going to say, Holbrook? You've got to make up your mind. Do you want to go or not? <laughs> and I walked into the room <laughs> and these Guys are all looking down, you know. They, well, uh, Private Holbrook, I guess the first thing we need to know is if you're chosen to go to West Point, do you want to go? Pause. No, sir. Jesus, the heads bounced up. <laughs> they looked at me like, how the hell did he get in here? <laughs> That's where I made the decision. No, sir. So, uh, so then I then I went back to my uh, guys in the in the platoon, and I uh, became one of them. I got into trouble. I fooled around with girls, and I watched twenty-five mile hikes. I spent three years in the army, and I. I would have to really think seriously to try to remember anybody I could have a conversation with. I was one of the soldiers, and they were for Kentucky in West Virginia. There's nothing wrong with them. They just were not ed educated guys. There was no one you could talk to, no one. You can have a conversation with, except about girls and F U C K. That's it. Period. Well, that's all. That's good for a while, but it really is. So anyway, that's my army experience. I was uh, sent to the boat. Uh, but I, I got. <laughs> that's the only blow I landed was that that. Finger broke on a guy's. I was beat up very bad in a defending a soldier against some sailors in a bar and uh, and uh, Cap Shenango in Pennsylvania, and uh, I spent uh, uh, about uh, seventy days in the hospital. I was beat up real bad. And uh, then I was finally uh, sent from there to the boat in Boston to go overseas. And it was right at the time of the Battle of the Bulge. My best friend, I was hoping to be with him overseas. Uh, he was killed then. He tried to save somebody, and he was machine gunned. I uh, I got to the boat, and we expected we were going to go to France. Uh, we go through the fog for a couple of days, and suddenly there's this island 
appears and we're saying, what the hell is this? What is this, an island? What is this, uh, Greenland? It was a place called Newfoundland. Who the hell had ever heard of Newfoundland? <laughs> and we pulled into Argentia Bay and that's where I spent the rest of my uh, Army career. <laughs>